people talking about athletes are slow right now. People are running bad times, absolutely washed. It's like the competitions. Like that's all I'm seeing. Uh, we're seeing, uh, you know, I think Hunter Woodall, you know, was coming to some defense of people like, yo, it's, you know, people are training in, in heavy training, heavy training cycles. Don't worry about it. Other people like, oh, well, you're still, you know, running slow and all that stuff. Um, uh, you, you've been seeing this on, on Twitter, I'm, I'm assuming, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's everywhere. So first, I got I got I, I got to talk about it for first to determine. Are we actually running slower right now than as people are saying? Because it seems like it's a pandemic. It's it's something that like we got to turn the sirens on. We're running awful. So listen here, I'm going to break down some numbers over the previous couple of years. So uh, there's going to be a lot of numbers coming at y'all, but just just be ready. So I'm going to go over where we're at currently in 2024. We'll go to 2023 last year, 2022. And then 2021, the last Olympic cycle, to see where we're at. So I've got the world lead in the 100, 200, and 400 for the men and the women at the on May 5th of each year. So where people are at for, for each of the event. We'll start with the the 100 for the men. So right now, uh, 993 uh, is the lead by Christian Miller, obviously the high schooler. Uh, 991 was the lead is the lead in 2023 uh which was by i think terrence jones who was in college uh and 2022 it's night it was 990 which was by benjamin asmati uh and then in 2021 the last olympic year it was 988 by trayvon Bermel. and so our we're running a little bit slower sure that's correct from 988 to 993 uh but what you'll notice is that those last three people are all college and high school athletes. So obviously, as we know, college and high school athletes have been running most of their season. Most college athletes seasons are going to be ending in the next few weeks because we have conference championships coming up next week. And then you have NCAAs, uh, you know, almost almost there. So college athletes are already almost done. You're peaking right now at this point. High school athletes even more so, where, you know, Christian, your, your state championships are next weekend. Some more this weekend, actually, you know, for, for Texas. And so to see world-leading times coming from most NCAA athletes, especially on the men's 100, it's like, why are we freaking out? Like, professional athletes aren't running this fast, at least in the 100 uh, on the men's side, you know, as consistently. So it's like people are saying, oh, we're running super slow. It's not really the case. I got more numbers, though, for you. Oh, Colin, you're just cherry picking. Let's go over other events then. Why not? 200. Uh, in 2021, we're, we were running a 1981. That was by a college athlete. Uh, 19, in 2022, it was 1949. That was Arian Knight when he opened up early, who was still in high school at the time. Uh, 1979 last year and then 1971 this year. So outside of Arian Knighton's 1949, we've been getting faster in the 200 on the men's side. What about the 400 meters? Noah, who was who's the world lead at this point in the in 2021? The 400. This guy. This guy. Oh, this guy. <laughs> he was also in college at the time as well. 4430 uh, in the 400. Uh, 4422 in 2022. 4391 last year and 4410 this year. In other words, about the same. It's been actually getting faster, you know, each year pretty much that we've been doing it. How about on the women's side? Uh, it's 1077 in the 100, 1076 last year, 1087 in 2022, which was by a college athlete, Julian Alfred, and then 1072 in 2021, the last Olympic at the last Olympic year. In other words, it's hovering right around that same time. Uh, we, we can keep, keep going in the, in the 200, 2208, 2191, 2187, 2203. So what I'm saying is people are so concerned and believing that we're running slower right now, but it's not true. We're running the same type of times and it's the same type of athletes that are running. Like it's college athletes, it's high school athletes that are running fast right now because that makes sense. So everyone's saying, oh, all these times are getting slower. Give it time. Because I also remembered a lot of people saying, oh, 2022 was one of the fastest years we've seen. Oh, 2021 was one of the fastest years we've seen. All right. Well, we're still in the same place as where we were for those years. So let's stop freaking out. Um, 
What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think the whole argument is just a little bit ludicrous um, and ignorant, too. Like, I think Hunter did a great job on Twitter. Um, if you didn't see it, I'll try to my best to kind of summarize what he was saying and defending the pros at, at this time of the year. So basically, you know, this is like the heaviest workload for a professional athlete, professional track and field athlete. Right around this time is when things start to back off a little bit and you'll see times drop a lot. But guys, Monday through Thursday are squatting 400 pounds, power cleaning 300 pounds, like doing a lot of very intense, heavy load lifting and super, super, super intense workouts on the track as well. So by the time we get to track meets on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're a little bit fatigued already, right? And we're running to kind of get a rhythm, running, try to get, you know, work on some things. But nobody in the pro circuit should be running fast, world-leading times, crazy outliers this early in the season. And if they are, it's probably cause for some concern because you can only hold that so long. You can only run those crazy-ass times so many times before your body starts to break down and, um, you know, if you're doing it this early in the season, it might be like a like a check engine like kind of moment, right? So, um, I loved what Hunter said, man. And those people that are that are speaking on it um, are just really ignorant to the sport. We see it all the time in our sport. Just a lot of ignorance, um, social media, internet coaching, and and all that other nonsense. But you know, I think everybody's in a really good place. If you watch the races, it's been entertaining too. So. Um, Sports in a good place, man. People are running fast. That's it's a myth. We're myth busters right now. <laughs> myth has been busted. There you go. Are people actually running slower right now? Myth busted. No, yeah. It's like, sure. I I guess we don't have that. Every once in a while, you're people at least in the hundred. You're looking for that. You know, nine seven. You know, you're you're looking for those like that that ten. If on the women's side, that that ten six or that ten five. Like you're looking for those crazy you know things and. It's like those are outliers. Like they don't happen very often. Like you, and so when when you do, it's like celebrate, recognize, and you know enjoy it. But it doesn't ha- like they don't happen that much for a reason uh, because it's super super impressive. It's like once you reach that peak, it's hard to always be at that peak. So it's like yeah, everyone's getting faster, and times are getting times are getting faster. I think times are also getting a lot more consistent. Versus, uh, you know, if you're like, oh, yeah, we're running so much faster in 2009, 2008, or we're running the same type of time. What was the variance in those things? It's like, all right, so you have a guy who's, who ran maybe a, a nine, you know, a nine, seven, nine, eight. Okay, what was he running the rest of the year? Uh, you know, versus now, it's like, sure, everyone's running very, like, you're, you're not seeing a ton of variance of, you know, the Christian Coleman's aren't going, you know, 10, 2 and whatever. It's, it's, it's a similar they're saying the same window. So, uh, yeah, no, no, nothing to be worried about. I think people are running just fine. Let's see how this closes out the year. It's an Olympic year. People are obviously going to be putting in a little bit more, a little extra ump uh, into things, and we'll have to, you know, see how we finish it out here. Yeah, man. So we didn't have it on the, uh, like, our agenda that we were talking about, but this kind of got me thinking about it. I don't know if you saw – uh, it was a similar type of quote. Uh, do you see what Jakob Ingebrigtsen said, uh, you know, when he was asked? Ooh, this is a good one. So I know we don't talk too much distance track, but this was just a cold quote. Like, like Jakob, he, he's one of them ones. I can tell you that for sure. Uh, he, he said, if I'm healthy uh, and I'm not sick, then it's going to be a walk in the park to win at the Olympics, to win in Paris. I was like, damn. Like, like – that I don't think there are many athletes right now that have that sort of confidence talking, especially like press media. Like I think of Noah and Jakob, like those are the two that say that sort of stuff, like out loud, like it was at like the same day, like same type of meet, Um, you know, that, that type of confidence just like, you know, is when you, as another athlete, like if you were going up in the 1500 against him, or if somebody else in the 400, like let's say, you know, Michael Norman, you know, and you're, you're lining up, is that something as a competitor, like y'all even care about? Like, oh no, this guy, he's 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 talking like that. He's, he's confident, or is it just like, yeah, line up, we'll see how you do. Nah, you say something, you talk crazy like that. I gotta show you. I gotta show you now. Like that's a little added, little added fuel for the competitors. But for somebody like that, it should be added fuel for him because now he said it, he put it out there in the universe. Now it's like, damn, I gotta back that up, you know? Like, so it's it's gonna be added added uh, motivation for everybody. But if 
if Mike Norman is talking crazy like that, you know, it's definitely gonna give me the all right, bro. Look, look I'm gonna show you something too, then, man. Let's not, you know, don't get out of don't get out of hand, man. Let, let me lock in real quick. Let me lock yeah, in. Let me real lock quick. in for real. <laughs> let me lock in. So yeah, yeah. Nah, I, but I love it though. Like I love y'all could been talking too. He been popping it. Like pause. He been talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like and Noah has too, and I love it. And Grant Grant gets a little spicy too with it. With you know what I'm saying sometimes. So uh, you know I love it, man. I love the 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 controversial type um, quotes and and you know saying hot shit basically. You know, mm-hmm. I, I love it. So I think it's good for the sport, man. Shout out, shout out Jakob, man. Shout out him. It's good. Now he's he's cold. I was like, all right, now I got to tune into this because uh, he's going up against Josh Kerr at, at Prefontaine Classic, which he's like, those two, like, they hate each other. And yeah. it's like, I need to see that. 